Hello, ladies, gents, and puny humans. We return to the Porcini adventure. What, do you think all that stuff we did with the Sparrow nonsense? It was all a preamble. It was all a build-up to the actual Sparrow questline in the Greeny Porcini mod that makes the game more fun to play. But there is some kind of thing going on with the Sparrow questline in this mod, and I needed to do the vanilla version before I did the modded version so I could tell what the hell is the difference. So that's what spawned, what was that? Five episodes of stupidity trying to manage our way through the Sparrow questline successfully. It was quite the adventure. I don't regret to have done it. Just take some damage there, you filthy dumbass turkey. I don't regret having done it. I thought it would be a one episode, Andy. It was a massive, expansive saga. Sure, you can have this dumbass turkey. Oh, he has a jetpack. I enjoy a jetpack. I like them quite a lot. Hopefully, it will resolve this entire ordeal all by itself. Problem being. Well, one problem is having this dumbass freaking jar right here. Let me just get rid. Yeah! <laughs> you don't need to get rid of it. I did the opposite of it. Well, I guess I did get rid of it. Well, now I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little uh, concerned about the things, the state of affairs. Good, good. It was too much power concentrated in the hands of a maniac. Better this way. Don't tempt me with such silly things. Thing is, I had already worked out a, a... Wow. I had already worked out a way to rob him efficiently, and then I completely forgot it. So then I was attempting some seriously stupid thing. What am I, what am I doing? I was attempting again some really, really silly way of doing things. But don't worry. This is all going to happen in one episode, right? Because the Sparrow quest line. Obviously, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> this trepanator buried in the bones of his enemies. But why though? Why why can't they get out of here? This is just outrageous. Okay. I accept it. Well, what is going on with this entire side of the map? Absolutely bizarre. The way that entire uh, configuration was put on was funking funky as hell anyway anyway we need to steal an item that's where we're starting that's what i'm sticking with the plan it is identical to what we normally do until we find something that is a very obvious difference no no you don't want to you don't want to arrow me what happened there at some point it was shot well, that was that's a totally worthless uh, area. I'm trying to find Antonio Banderas, but I think he's behind the shopkeeper, which makes him completely unreachable. Okay, I had actually f figured out an easy way to steal the item without getting murdered. What was it? I completely forgot it now. Hmm. I really cannot remember. So, what we're going to do, what we're going to do, whip it without opening the present box now i don't, I don't wanna i don't wanna go into the ladder <laughs> okay okay <laughs> no that one okay it's actually tame well this is bad <laughs> this is bad because i went the wrong way uh, i'm sure that the caveman oh i mean this microphone is completely out of whack let me <laughs> move the microphone up a little bit this is a complete disaster there you go there you go just made up a little bit of time while i figure out how to deal with this maniac it's all right i just need to jump over here and he's going to go down and then i'll go up and everything will work out no no you don't want to you know you don't want to do it that way all right it appears that i have earned my death once again <laughs> this is stupidest. Oh, it makes me want to delete everything and then delete my life from existence. 
It's all right. It's it's fine. Everything's fine. It's I'm just being very obtuse. Is the problem? Why do I even boot up freaking Spelunky? Is the problem? I, I think that that's the entire issue. Should just stick to Elden Ring. Nothing creaming my butthole in Elden Elden Ring is a super easy experience compared to Derek Yu's torture simulator. Now so thoroughly improved and wonderfulized by Grini Porcini. I am so mad. I'm so mad. Pretty sure you can... Maybe whip... You whip it out. When in doubt, you whip it out. You whip the item out of the store, and then... You kill him! <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Mistakes for me. Oh, 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 oh! So stupid, man. Oh, so stupid. What am I doing? I had the item. I could have stolen, but I got bombs in my eyeballs. I was like, I want these explosives, and I'm willing to do murder for them uh, if we piss off the shopkeeper and then kill it. And that's the way it works, really. You steal and then you kill him, and it's fine. But you know what? I give up. Is that what you wanted to hear, Greeny Porcini? I just give up completely. Oh, crap. I give up on my life entirely. Is he down? Is he down? Yeah, he's down. Okay, okay. Good stuff. Something I wanted to do was maybe put the chest in Kali's altar. It was suggested at some point. Don't know if anything happens. But it would be cool to test it out. I may already have done it. I completely forgot about it. I don't see Kali in any capacity, though. She ain't here. She did not grace me with her glorious presence. Therefore, what? <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? Why you have to be like this? Bruh, <laughs> the Ujjadi came out. And I didn't grab it. <laughs> Why is life this hard? It's okay. I got this under control. We have a maniac at the exit. We have a ghost at our heels. <gasps> I have found the exit. I even greed my ass with one more <laughs> point of health. All right, a few silly false starts. Some acclimatization back into the Spelunky world. It is just the way it is. Uh, I haven't been around here in a couple weeks, or maybe a week or so. By the way, whenever Spelunky content goes away, whenever the videos dry up, just assume the post office swallowed me whole yet again. It's just the, the same thing that I always tell you. If you want more Blargo video, get a ticket to freaking Alaska. Get yourself a job at the post office. Relieve me of my overtime because I'm so sick of it. Oh, sick of it. Anyway, anyway, we're just going to watch this man get punched in the head until he's dead. It's my favorite pastime in Spelunky and real life. All right, it's all done. Great stuff. Why not? Why not? I'm rich, baby. Oh. Put that there. Give me a shotgun. Should the corpse desecrate a little bit? Great stuff. We should be forgiven. Indeed. Indeed. We are fully forgiven. There's a bunch of scorpions in the back layer now, isn't there? I would rather just fight the mole man. You think you made it better, Greeny Porcini? You think you I'm going to give you an alternative instead of fighting mole man how about you struggle through a 20 scorpion gauntlet no thanks i'll uh, i'll take mole man getting wrecked by my shotgun any time of the day thanks a lot i think i'd rather do do that than just suffer through 20 scorpions poisoning my ass so let me let's go for all this where do we want to go I don't think we I think we did we did the jungle, right? The one time that we got the win. Let's go Volcana. 
And we have six bombs. It's fine to spend one here. I allow it! Let's continue on. Do -do -do -do. All right. Ugh. Oh, that's right. This save game. 10,000? Sure thing. I'm rich, baby. Get me out of here. You may notice. Like, when I do recording, like, I'm not trying, okay? I'm not trying. But the performance voice kind of comes out. This is not the way I speak in my usual life. Ooh, okay, I am normally far quieter. I'm far more chill. But whenever I start recording this blunt, it's like I get, I get revolutionized. I get agitated. Ooh. And I want to fill the experience with energy. I was like, maybe I should endeavor to you know, chill out a bit. Maybe have a more conversational tone. Maybe have a, a, more, a more quiet, more measured way of speaking. Because I was like, I might put in a performance. Is this truly me? Because, you know, like... For example, high energy YouTubers versus 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 then you watch them stream and it's a completely different tone. It's like this is the same person. Was that a weird performance? Oh, oh! She gives you a freaking power pack. You're good, but are you good enough to steal from Madame Tusk? You know what? You can you can keep this power pack though. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. You skank. I'm going to. To simply move on my life with this beautiful, humble, yet extremely helpful cape. But I'm already equipped with the key. I don't know what happened to it. There it is. You know, the, you, you hear them on a YouTube video versus hearing them on a stream. And it's a far more chill tone. And it's like a conversation between the... The... Protagonist and the chat. Well, I don't know why protagonist came out between the streamer and the chat. A lot less performative. But you know, when I am recording, I'm like, I don't feel like I am performing. I'm just putting out a little bit more energy, and it just comes out naturally. I'm not trying to be fake. It's just a different part of me that comes out. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I mean, I don't know. Make a conscious effort to be a little bit more chill. Holy crap. Oh. Do this. Carry on with my life. There is Callie at the top up there, but she's such a chore to reach from here. We're just going to continue very peacefully. There's no uh, pit of despair to go down to Vlad's abode. Continue murdering everybody. I have the key. To your pain! Oh, well, that was a mistake, wasn't it? There goes my key. <laughs> I'm, I'm real smirk. That's okay, though. There is gloop. There's always gloop. Callie has been pissed off. All right, well. Sucks to be me, I guess. Please stop pissing off Callie. She's had enough of my nonsense. Oh, man, she was so pissed that she actually... Uh, Came out with freaking bees, ah! <laughs> Destroy the entire altar, though. How how that happen? Oh, because this got detached and then it rolled into Cali, the the rest of Cali's altar. That's the way it happened, I guess. All right, well, we'll just kill, murder, destroy the disgusting pile of goo. Whoa! Completely forgot you exist. Little beggar. Is there a reason to open this up? I will just instantly explode, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't just outright murder me, but it should have. That was reckless. She seems very angry. I just gave her literally $20,000. My experience with women has taught me that you give women money, and they forgive all your misgivings. Isn't that the way it works? 
just make it rain upon their heads. And they're like, thank you so much, Daddy. And oh, 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 the moment of panic there. Anyway, just stop speaking. Stop speaking, you disgusting swine. I bought this little creature. I even remember to turn it away from the horrible lava. Let me just come over here. Uh, am I forgiven yet? No. She still seems angry at me, even though I have given her life and riches. Can't believe I'm being disrespected so. This is truly not right. All right. Clearly, this is 100% safe. Nothing bad will happen to me. Once I continue floating all the way down here. Unfortunately, pissing off Cali makes it so that coming in here is not a guaranteed pile of health. It's all right, though. It's all right. Oh, that's right. This is Greeny Porcini's. Vlad's castle, where everything's upside down and my life is in ruin. Uh, this is safe-ish, right? Right? Am I right? Okay, there we go. We continue up, I suppose. that I've completely lost track of how far up we are. Let me just obliterate you through spikes. More flesh to be found up here. But it's alright. I need no help today. It's all a matter of murdering. Uh, we can just do the whole stomping thing. I was going to... Oh, I went a little too far there. Please stop. Please stop. Stop bouncing. Stop it! Okay, well, that worked. <laughs> just improvise. It's all fine. Perfectly safe. This up. Evil skeletons. Man, that's a lot of crates. Wonder if that is 100% random. Whoa. Wonder if that's just random or we happen. Ooh, doo -doo -doo. Or, or the mod makes it more likely to get some of these. Okay, I want to. Uh, I would like to exit this place without losing a single point of health. I will be really appreciate it. I'm going down the opposite way. Always asking for trouble when you do that. Because uh, it's a mystery what you may find in your path. Okay, got it done. I'm the greatest Spelunker of all time. A few false starts. We have already forgotten all about that. This is nothing but success. So anyway, what the hell uh, is next with Sparrow? You know what? We're just climbing back up. That seems safer to me than uh, going across the dumbass lava. What's next again? You get the key and you go into the place, the coral reef. The place with the fat ass tub of lard garbage creature. We do have 22 bombs. I am pretty rusty. Pretty rusty. I, I forget, brother, how you used to do it. It's like you put it there and then you drop it like so. I completely forget it, brother. I am the greatest. <laughs> I am the greatest shortcut maker of all time. That is good enough, right? Oh, we need to kill Free and Gloop. So this was a massive waste of time. Not quite a massive waste of time, but kind of silly. Please. There you go kind of silly to do it when I need to go to gloop anyway and now it's kind of like a complication to have the giant dumbass head pissing me off but if I recall correctly there was also a key at the bottom of this whole area right am I correct you can't even make it without using explosives well I'll use freaking explosives I'm not going to go across yeah <laughs> I'm not going to work at it so hard. In fact, I'm being really, really stubborn and dumb. Could have sworn there was a key somewhere in the in these dark parts. I could be wrong, though. Ah, oh, no, no, it spawns outside. Yeah. All right. So what we're going to do is just uh, murder the filthy, gelatinous piece of garbage that is hidden in the cubby hole right here. <clears throat> <laughs> all right, all right. So let me get Omic away from me. You dirty five head piece of trash. 
make my way down to gloop and do a pile of murder upon his person. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, you uggo. Here, catch one of these. You day. <laughs> Buffoon! Give me that thing. Uh, I did my shortcut. We still need to, you know, actually make it to the tide pool. So nice to have committed all sorts of crimes to have plenty of explosives. All right, so now we rob the idol. Oh, geez, you're still around? A rope? I'm full of ropes. Only need one to hang yourself. Hope you put it to good use. Hello. Already I have found you. Therefore, we're going to create an awesome escape plan. Oh, wait, we first need to gamble. There's another opportunity to seek unholy forgiveness. She truly must see the that I am repentant. Give me another chance. Please take me back. I didn't mean to blow up your house. I didn't mean to disrespect and sully your name with heresy and lies. It was just a face. It was just a moment of hesitation, of foolishness. Are you, uh, no, we're not done yet. Wow, what a incredibly stupid collection of items you have given me. Absolute trash garbage. The pile, the most worthless pile of scammy trash anybody has presented me with. Fills me with annoyance. Murder. Murder. Do you need to actually save the idol, or is it good enough to steal it? I think it's good enough to steal it, right? Sparrow does not give a crap whether you actually make the profit or not. All she's concerned about is, hey, you took it out of the place? Okay, well, I did not expect that Yangshi to be so damn aggressive. Has been taking some lessons in karate, apparently, because holy crap, did it jump. An incredible high jump. Clearly, uh, we are at a terrible deficit of health. But I am a devout follower of her unholy... Of her unholy grimace. We're going to make it... Ooh, <laughs> to make it to her abode no matter how much it costs me. I took the idol, but I don't have it with me, so he's not going to be pissed at me, right? Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Uh, if I put a bomb here, he will be pissed at me, though, because... Um, that should be good. It's a little too close. Huh? Huh? That was a terrible toss. I just, I just want to be rid of this scum lord. Oh! <laughs> I didn't realize it was a crab. It's a crab. Okay, murder you. Okay. This is the exit. Like, we, we're going all the, all the way over there. What a ordeal. What a silly chore that I have assigned to myself just to get forgiveness. Oh, the things I will do for whamming. Anyway. Put you there. We already get a nice present. We're slowly making progress. And soon we will stop sleeping in the celestial couch. Still got a few bombs to spare. It's okay to use one here. Clone gun. You can shove it up your rectum. Okay. Definitely want this dog. And we do have a crown. Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, how about I just leave? Before I get hit one last time. I must have this sword, though. Must have. Probably should get a slave for myself, but... Eh. I'm not even going to care about... What's it called? Neo-Babylon. Not Neo-Babylon. The place. The upside down place that uh, cities is a forbidden city, something, something. Bruh, I actually literally forgot it. 
the name of the place. But it's upside down. Obviously, we're going to go back for that pet. That creature that will give me the most wondrous saliva inflution. Inflution! There it is. Why am I having to work so hard at it? That's right. I was like, man, this this just seems so much harder than usual. What is going on? Uh, we are playing Granny Porcini's mod. <laughs> it blends so well with the usual Splunky experience that it's like, there's something off, but I can't put my finger on it. This uh, fully modded experience. Murder, murder, murder. Oh, uh, I am quite rich. Let's flaunt our riches in front of this idiot. I bet you are extremely jealous of the flashy red Bugatti that I drive. You idiot. You uh, you get no bitches with your nasty 2500 Volvo. And those New Balance sneakers. Check out my... Incredible kicks. You can tell that I'm a cool guy because I have expensive shoes. All right, we uh, Cali is bound to be in my path. It is a foregone conclusion. She is predestined to show up. Huh. And thus, the Kapala comes to pass. It has been a long and arduous saga. There has been so many ups and downs in this relationship, but we have patched it up real good. We can finally find each other and our comfort once more. Let's go to the back layer. Why the hell not? Next up, find Sparrow in 6-1. And she hides very well over there. So, you know, you gotta very much watch out for her. It is not trivial. Hey, you piece of trash. How about you catch one of these? And next time, if you piss me off, you'll catch some fists. Huzzah! Murdered little penguin. Deserves it. Yeah! I will teach you to star in Disney movies or DreamWorks or whichever one it was. There you go. Playing no freaking games with these filthy creatures. Why you tempt me so? Why you do this to me? Give me that. Climbing gloves in there. Is that a guarantee? Is that guaranteed to spawn there, Greeny Porcini? Or is it just... Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> I wanted to backwards... Backwards super slice this Yeti. He was too fast, though. Too damn powerful. Punch me like lightning. You couldn't even see the frames. In which, oh, <laughs> which he punched me. All right, all right. No, too many jump scares in this Spelunky game. Been playing... Shit, man. I haven't even kept track of what it's actually called. I think it's Withering Hollow? Let me let me uh, tab out real quick. And I'll tell you. It's, it's on Steam right there. Withering Rooms. It's like a roguelike horror game. And it's super good. I don't know if it's, like, I think about making a video about it. It's like, it's a really hard concept to encapsulate. Like, it's a weird experience. And it's a roguelike, but I have yet to restart. And I've been, like, maybe three, four hours into it or more. It's a roguelike where when you restart, you go all the way back to the start. That's all in all roguelikes, right? But, uh... A single run, quote-unquote run, has been like six hours? So, uh, clearly it will go faster because, you know, everything's new and alien to me as I play through this video game. But, uh, it's gonna be a blow when I finally die to the freaking jump scare destroying my ass. And believe you me when I say... <laughs> Uh, there's been a, a few good jump scares. Not a huge horror fan. I like the horror genre. But I kind of have to force myself to play it, if that makes any sense. Is it? 
No, it's just just a crate in the back. But hey, she's right there. I don't know if it makes any difference quest-wise. I think everything's the same. But it does seem like Sparrow gives you worthy things. I'm impressed. Maybe at the Palace of Pleasure if you really want to get rich. She gives you useful things. And I assume once you finally pull it off, she's not, it's not a completely worthless endeavor like it is now. Jump through all the hoops so you can only have half the money. How, how great, what, what a great deal that was. Is your name Bank of America, Wells Fargo, any kind of freaking, oh. Okay. Any kind of banking institution giving me a raw deal with a 9.5 interest rate. Banking on my monetary illiteracy. Because holy crap, is this a raw, awful deal that nobody should take. Alright, alright, we're good here. Going to slowly make our way through. Extra health. Don't hear nobody. <laughs> Man, this is a nightmare over here. Let me just pass completely. What is, what is this room? Greedy Porzini. Shame on you. What have you done? What is this? <laughs> this is terrible. Okay, it's not as bad as I initially thought. Like, the first impression is uh, soul crushing. But then you realize, okay, it's not that bad. I take it back, Greeny Porcini. I take it back. I was just overly aggressive there. This one's funky as well. How about we just explode our way to the exit? This is just too much stress. Too much freaking stress. Uh, the Pal of, Palace of Pleasure shall be in the next uh, area, so we don't need to worry about it. Ow. It was shiny. I needed to have it. Okay, we're gonna go get our health. Have you noticed? I don't think there was a patch. But have you noticed that the elevators, now they line up? They used to not line up. There was a comment pointing it out, and indeed it's true. I used to, I've seen it so many times where the elevator, the tile will not line up with what it's supposed to line up with. But now it lines up perfectly. What happened there? I don't know, man. I don't know. It's freaking me out. This is just a nightmare. <laughs> this is just awful. And I hate it. Let me see if we can get out of here. Just approach this from a different angle. Whoa! We gotta get to the bottom. Find this Larcinius scum lord. Crime overmind. There it is. There it is. Is it Larsen? I think it's Larsenus. The word that I'm looking for. If you get past the lasers, I'll split the treasure. You're still splitting the treasure. Are you freaking kidding me? I like those crates, though. I'll partake of these crates. Pa boom. Pretty sure now everybody's pissed. Ow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at him. He's so mad. He's so mad. So once again, all she does is murder one fool. I have to spend 20 bajillion bombs. I mean, she did give me a bomb box. So <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, which kind of means that she's just lazy, right? She had the resources all along. And she's just a lazy piece of garbage. It's like, hey, how about you do it? Here you go. All expenses paid. Ow, why do I keep getting myself lasers like an absolute buffoon? All right, so she is indeed, we are indeed still sharing half the treasure. Oh yeah, baby. Does she say anything? We already betrayed, whoa. We do make a great team. That means I didn't uh, pay attention if she gave me anything other than a pile of ropes. I think that's what she did. Um, I'm not sure whether there's any follow-up at all. So let's not betray her this time around. We already did it in the, in the legit episode. Something I do want to do, though, is lure these people back. Put a bomb. Oh, is she going to get mad if I put a bomb here? I bet she will. 
she's not mad. But why did I do that? Now they're gonna come over here. Hey, they should actually attack her, right? They're not attacking her. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> no! It's okay, we'll resurrect. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> okay, you, you're not even mad. What are you, stupid? Ah, ah. Oh, the reflection! <laughs> wow. Oh! Woo! <laughs> Why am I doing this to myself? Am I foolish? Yes, indeed I am. I am just an absolute idiot. <laughs> All right, I have, I have an extra life. I can spare it. All right, more health for Cali. Everybody's mad now. We have to come up here. You know, robbing her blind is not good enough. Now that she is properly humiliated, we're going to put her out of her misery. She dead. Are we done? We're done. Feels good. All right. And we are not betraying this scum lord, okay? We are just parting ways legit. Perfectly executed. We are the honest part of the heist. We didn't just bust out the be last minute inevitable betrayal. We are the George Clooney's. We are the Matt Damon's. We are not the Kevin Spacey's. Oh, hello. Hello. You're gonna yell. How about you get your face cut off? Do you enjoy that? How about I cut off your face with this sword? Get destroyed! Okay, so obviously this needs to be attempted. I humiliated myself the last time I was here. Let's get some bubbles underneath her. Woo! I had a golden parachute. As a proper uh, thief, as a proper thief would have, I worked as a high-powered CEO of a banking company, your Lehman Brothers, and I had a golden parachute to always be completely, completely free of harm at the end of all of my thievery. All right, buddy. Oh, okay. All right. Pretty rusty again. I did accomplish it the last time I was here. I just choked at the end. Ah, oh, that's the unlucky, that's the unlucky break, really. Wow, okay, I was going to say really, really unlucky not to hit the bubble. That's the unlucky break when you do it that way. You may run into the the spark trap when you do it that way. If you want to not run into the spark trap, you want to go through the bottom. And of course, it's a lot more challenging. You, when you do it like this, you're just taking your chances. And I still would rather take my chances. Ooh, that was uh, terribly close. I was, it was so close that freaking Scooby-Doo voice came out. Okay, okay. Uh, pace myself. Take it easy. Man, this is some, some bullshit. <laughs> All right, okay. I am a genius. I am the greatest. I am the best Spelunker ever. To be born? It's been a long time since I pulled one of those off. Feeling pretty great. What happened to my sword? I dropped it. I think it stopped. It stayed um, where the lasers were at. Oh, well, I thought that it would be over. But now we're going to the place whose name I completely forgot. The Sunken City. Jeez, brother. You silly, silly brain. Never coming up with the word that I want them to come up with. Until I, it's a, a million years in the future. Okay, so we have one point of health. So mommy, please save me. I don't think we've been here with Greeny Porcini's mod, actually. I may be wrong in that, in that assertion. Because, um, what's this though? Uh, it doesn't seem right. I probably have been here with the mod. I wouldn't just say I was victorious. 
without having seen this place. What I didn't do was go to the Cosmic Ocean. I think that's what happened. And then Greeny Porcini in the comments said, Ah, don't worry about it. Like, it's a little funky, but there's nothing... <laughs> there's nothing uh, really going on in the Cosmic Ocean. So, uh, don't bother. And I appreciate that because I would have been really stressed out having to do all that. Watch them die, watch them explode. Makes me feel good. And now we wait. Kind of funky that Derek Hugh is okay with this. I would have expected him to nerf this way of dealing with the sun challenge. It feels so cheap and kind of boring, you know? This should be changed, I feel. To where maybe just tone down the sun challenge so it's not a complete shit show. You know? You know what I'm saying? We don't have the bow, so we're not going to do anything with this dumbass uh, <laughs> this dumbass arrow. Um, tone down the sun challenge so it's not a complete insanity fest. And uh, make it impossible to just wait it out of the top. I think that will be a great way to balance out that whole thing because as it stands you're either a fool for facing the challenge or kind of a coward for taking the easy way out so, you know I think it'll be, it's it's a disservice it's a disservice to the entire design of the damn game it should be a challenge that you beat fair and square with your skill you know, make it perhaps not require a PhD in sp spelunkology and be having a two millisecond reaction time. That would be great. So that the sun challenge is not a completely ignored challenge. Anyway, where the hell are we going here? Where is the, where's the way out? This is it. I think so. Oh yeah, get me out, baby. We're going to fight Chicken Snake. I have 53 bombs. We're going to try and do the fastest kill imaginable. Imaginable. We got no real stakes. We have accomplished everything. Honestly, I expected some kind of a weird lore going on with the with this Sparrow quest. It is simply the difference is that it gives you things you want as opposed to being a complete waste of time for everybody involved <laughs> so you know it is a very good change it is less of a change than i expected but once again greeny porcini's mod really going out of its way to really blend with the original experience not make it into something funky just give you oh well that frog is gonna piss off the shopkeeper Serves him right. Serves him right. It's 7-3. I should go out of my way to murder this guy, actually. But nah, let's just get out of here. Hopefully get through the beginning. Because of Grini Porcini's layout, it may be different. I think he may not have changed the layout of the Hundun fight. This looks very, very similar. You know, it was extremely doable. And in fact, almost exactly the same. If not exactly the same. Let's make ourselves a nice little spot to bomb the chicken snake into oblivion. Looking pretty good. Where are you, scumlord? There you are. We can do it from here. Please. <laughs> Get wrecked. Oh, that wasn't enough. You are an idiot. Oh, this is bad. Please, get me out of here. <laughs> Perhaps was not the fastest. Perhaps was not the fastest kill of the chicken snake ever imagined. But... Pretty okay. I'm done with it. I'm happy with this result. 
I, it took me five episodes or plus to accomplish it in the regular version of the game. It takes me one try throughout Grinny Porcini's enhanced experience. Finally, this saga is complete. The next chapter in my Spelunky experience shall be visited next. What will it be? I honestly have no idea. I'll, I'll think of something. But uh, the Spelunky... The Spelunky Spice must flow! Uh, <laughs> I'm into it. We're gonna continue doing it, and it's going to be a fun time. There's our torturer, Derek. UFO 50 is coming up fairly soon. I mean, it, I think it's like in three months now. Still a ways to go, but that's going to be at least 50 video. I'm going to make one for each damn video game. Explain what each one is, and uh, we'll see how... How terrible it does, I bet it will be a complete wasteland where view numbers are concerned. But we're going to, to put it, push it through. We're going to find a hidden gem and it's going to be glorious. Okay? So, I hope you stick around for that.